Bad Man Kevo is my husband, G. So any girl that's over there doing something with him, doing this and that and the third, G, you're with a married man. And this is what he do. He threw us out and we're homeless. So and we're homeless. Stop the cap. <laughs> I can barely get nothing out of him, but he's on dates. He's he's with rappers and models and on yachts and stuff like that. We barely can't get nothing. We barely can get nothing. Too short. What's my favorite word? What's my favorite word? Cree Guzzler. Why they gotta say it like short? Cream gobblers. What's my favorite word? Cream dollars. And the only reason why I'm crying is not because I feel like a girl took my spot or something like that. Like, cause, like, I don't even care about these girls. Like, I don't care about these girls. I don't care about him. Like, I know how I am. I know I'm loyal. Like, that's all. That's really the most I can offer. Like, if you can't appreciate that, I don't know what else to tell you. But I know I just can't do this no more, G. I'm literally homeless, G. I've been homeless for some months now. This man kicked me and my kids out. <laughs> He kicked me and my kids out. And just so he could run around and go be with hoes. Men make sure we had a place to stay or nothing, G. Nothing. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a toxic king who was. She belongs to the street. According to the book of the Toxic Kings, chapter Asclapolations, section Fodaladians, it states never trust something that can bleed five days straight and cannot die because everything that comes out of her mouth is a damn lie. I would rather eat a bowl of water with a fork before I trust any woman. I would rather go on Instagram live and listen to Boosie fart before I listen to any woman. Q&A, q and hold on, I gotta fight y'all, listen, hold on. <laughs> because when a woman goes on social media, and cries for the public to see. It's usually sympathy for her bad behavior. But when a woman cries in private, that's how you know it's real. Because according to the quote from our legendary ancient Greek cheek pounding philosopher, Socrates, he once states, trust not a woman when she weeps, for it is her nature to weep when she wants her will. So to translate this in the language of the womanese, what it means is a woman will never cry for what she has done, but will cry for the consequences she has to pay. Dude, he threw us out and we're homeless. I can barely get nothing out of him, but he's on dates. He's, he's with rappers and models. When you see a woman cry on social media, two things should immediately come to your mind. One, she's trying to manipulate the situation and she is trying to get her way with the situation. This is why you should not fall for her trap, those crocodile tears, because if you guys rewind back the video, this is why you never pay attention to a woman's words, you pay attention to her actions, because her actions speak otherwise, because she says she's homeless, that her life is so hard, but yet she is outside a five-star hotel poolside. Gentlemen, there is always two sides of the story. So may we have Mr. Band Man Kevin. Let's hear your side of the story. How can you go online and tell other girls that really are homeless, that really have bad boyfriends, that really is getting beat up, you know what I mean? That really is working jobs, making $30,000 a year that you're homeless. That's like a smack in the face to people who are really going through struggles because you're spoiled. Now, on, on IG Live, you said that you had her on allowance. You would pay her thousands a week. Listen, bro, no cap. You know me. You see how I spend money. I'm in the crib right now. This is $10,000 a day. You get what I'm saying? So understand, when Dime wants money, she gets money. No cap. I might, she be like, I might send her 500 I might send her 1000 I might send her 2000 3000 Dime has thousands of dollars worth of bags, four dollars $5,000 bags. She goes out to eat every single day. That adds up to thousands of dollars a day. Uber Eats is not cheap real quick let me just say this i know as a man when we start to make money we want to make our women feel loved and spoil them but when you do this you do not realize 
that you're crippling them because a woman will mistake your kindness for weakness and she will take advantage of you. You should always want a woman to work and earn your exclusivity. Dime, don't cook, don't clean. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not that type of person to put her out like this, but when a girl don't cook, don't clean, and then I have to hire maids all the time, and then you and you become careless with things, if you're very careless, like, well, I might say, damn, the dog just shitty. You gonna pick it up? Oh, I just seen that. I'll get it. Like, that that irritates me. Or if I see my baby crying too much, or if I, his diaper ain't changed fast enough, I'll get irritated. I'd be like, damn, hurry up and change his diaper. Hurry up and do this, because I'm doing so much. This woman, this cream gobbler, she is more of a liability than an asset. This woman has more red flags than the Chinese Communist Parade, because gentlemen, According to the book of the S collaborations, section Huology, it states, if she does not cook or clean, she is a walking red flag, a no good entitled scum bag. You want to treat these girls like a cum rag. Kareem gobblers. Gentlemen, when a girl does not cook or clean and he's paying all the bills, what is the point of having a damn wife? Sweetheart, we're married. Consider that a divorce. Gentlemen, choose your girlfriend wisely. Because my friend is telling me he wants to fake his death just to get away from his witch of a wife. Which makes me think probably Tupac faked his death just so he can get away from Jada. That Sam Cassell looking ass. That bald headed looking like exhausted from 300. And gentlemen... Her lack of shame in her behavior is extremely concerning because this cream gobbler, this 304 is a representation of a failed society and we can't even correct her. Why? Because she is a woman. She has a fish hole and some might be smeller than others. Your pussy stank. 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 And some might be hairier than others. Oh my God! <laughs> and fellas, imagine being so privileged that the consequences of your actions is somebody else's fault because accountability is a woman's kryptonite. Now, I want to dive deeper. We are about to conduct a CSI, a cheek slaying investigation. So I wanted to get an interview and hear the truth from her side. And you guys will not believe the shit that I dug up. No, I wanted your side of the story. A lot of people been begging me to interview you because they felt like, you know, I'm always on Bam and Cabo's side. I'm always interviewing him. So, you know, I, I want to interview you and get your side of the story. Now, Sunday, you took to Instagram that you were homeless and Bam and Cabo kicked you out of the crib. So you could take me through that that situation. All right. So basically, we were living together in Miami. We our lease was up. That's what really happened, right? We was both staying in hotel rooms. He ended up getting his crib before me. Now me, I'm not gonna lie. Like y'all see Ben Man as y'all savior for financial advice and stuff like that. But that's my heart. Like that's my everything. So I'm not ready to part ways. I'm feeling like he won't separate cribs. So we don't. So we can't be together, basically. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna let that happen. But I give him his space. I be quiet in the hotel room to get his crib. Boom. After some time, I'm still in this hotel room, you know what I'm saying, try to give him his space. I see he living his life on Instagram. And that triggered me. That's basically what happened. While you're in the hotel room and, and he's out living his life in his new condo, is he taking care of you then? Is he paying? Yeah, okay, so yeah, know? he do send me money. He do send me money. He send me money. Whatever I need, he always gonna send it. But when I see him out living his life, I felt like his career was coming in between that. So then I started overthinking and panicking, like, hold on, wait. You finna let this come between us? This money probably finna stop. You know, just creating problems before they even happen. Girls be having all that forehead, but cannot use her brain to figure out that this man clearly did not want her because in his eyes this woman was more of a liability than an asset 
And ladies, hear me out. When you go on social media, start crying and trap a man with a baby. It does not make a man want you more. And gentlemen, when she said, I saw him on Instagram living his life, which equals the man is having fun and enjoying what he does. But for some weird freaking reason, a woman never wants to see her man happy. They will always try to tear and sabotage a man because gentlemen, when a man is striving in life, there's always a woman out there to fuck it up. And gentlemen, when she says, I saw him on Instagram living his best life, I felt that his career was coming in between us. And that right there is evidence and a dead giveaway that she does not love bad man Kevin for him. She loves him for the lifestyle that he provides. When I see him out living his life, I felt like his career was coming in between that. Why do you guys think all the women want to sleep and slurp and gobble the ball sack of the top 20% of men? Because they love the value and the lifestyle that they can provide for her. And fellas, which leads me on to another RP truth bomb. The biggest difference on how a woman falls in love and a man falls in love is that a woman, she falls in love opportunistically while a man falls in love idealistically. And the fact that this cream goblet knows that she can no longer be a part of bad man's lifestyle. So she wants to throw dirt on his name and make bad man Kevl the problem, but in actuality, she is the problem. This just shows you that she was being extremely emotional and extremely childish. And fellas, this is why women are so dangerous. This is why I did not believe it from the start. You see this everywhere. You see this with the Deshaun Watson case. You see this with the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Now, let's continue to roll the clip. <laughs> you were sitting by a swimming pool, you were crying, you said you were homeless, it's just you and your son. Explain that part. So when I said I was homeless, okay, obviously I was emotional. Obviously I was emotional. That wasn't just no scene, act, one no. Like, I'm new to this, y'all. I'm not, I'm new to this. So I was emotionally talking, I spoke too fast. But what I said was I'm homeless living in a hotel, but people heard the homeless part and they ran with it because I was emotionally talking, but I was not homeless. Like Kevo have been making sure I've been straight in the hotel. Like he would never kick me out. Like I said, I created a problem before it even happened. Now let's dive deeper and dissect this situation with our thoughtagon. When she said, oh, I was emotional. Gentlemen, scratch out the word emotional and put in manipulative. That is the best way to describe what she's doing. Because let me just pretend to be homeless. I don't have a pot to piss in or a window to tow it out of. And this is what he do. He threw us out and we're homeless. I can barely get nothing out of him, but he's on dates. He's, he's with rappers and models. That is the most two-faced, cunning, idiotic, blasphemous, double-crossing, bamboozling, trifling ass human being that I've ever seen in 20 years of my life. I'm sorry, but people like that should not even exist. If I was the dictator and the commander in chief of the United States president, these people will be the first to be eliminated. Because these people make me so angry. Just makes me want to rip my dick off and jam it into my forehead. Fellas, this girl is so idiotic and so stupid that she thought Starbucks was alien currency. This girl is so idiotic and stupid that she thought chicken strips was a strip club for chickens. Girl, I just want to see you strip right now. Cause it's Ladies, I need you to hear me out and hear me well, because this just gets my blood steaming and boiling. Ladies, just because you are emotional, it does not give you the right to mislead and lie to people. 
That is like a man suplexing you when he's angry. Finish her. This is one of the many reasons why men are avoiding marriage. Ladies like you, put an act like this in the courtroom that will have children taken away from innocent fathers, which makes me imagine. Can you imagine all the innocent men that are in jail just because a woman is emotional? More like your emotional, damn it. Her getting on social media and lying to the people is one thing, but the fact that she does not get punished for her bullshit, that is absolutely mind boggling. Gentlemen, if I was the dictator of the United States of America, woman who accuses men of false accusations, you better best believe that her ass will be thrown in jail because gentlemen, according to the cheek slaying constitution, as Calapalations Scripture 222, it states, Every girl now wants to be a cream gobbler. And every time she opens her mouth, she sounds idiotic. It's a disease in my city. Seems like every single girl's got it. And gentlemen, on a letter grade on how great this woman will be as a wife, an A being an absolute greatest wife, an absolute sweetheart, but an F being an absolute catastrophe. I will not even give this woman an F. I will give her the letter G. G as in good, Lord, have mercy. G as in God, awful. G as in get the hell out. G as in ghost that bitch. And fellas, before I end this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And another thing I wanted to mention, this girl says she's a single mother. We barely can't get nothing. And I love dating women with kids because I love rocking the box where they came from. What the fuck? And gentlemen, I will always have the at most respect for single mothers. That's why I always go to the strip clubs and donate all my dollar ones to them. Oh, oh.